Hello and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Link's Rival School Academy. Now, we're about to enter our fourth duel out of six amongst all of our amazing content creators. And under the tutelage of Sasaki Sensei, we're about to see Jessica Robinson versus Doc7. Both of them have been good students, but can they put it to the test here at the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Link's Rival School Academy? Let's find out. Okay, Sensei, we've seen both of these duelists before. They're both very capable. Do you think that they both have what it takes to get through this? It's pretty even. So, this is the Dragon Deck. No, Kohei Kiwa, choose not to get it. Jessica, I know you like plants. No, no, that. But do you think your plants will like the fire of my dragons? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Look at this summoning. Okay, wait, I don't know. I think we three of them. I cannot yet because maybe I don't have the third one with me. But I will still summon this dragon, which is basically the same in terms of attack, but it empty my hands. So it's better for me. Dragon Knight of Darkness, already we've got a tribute summon, so very good start for Doc. I end my turn on this. Be careful, my trap card is really powerful, so. I imagine. So I'll draw. Uh hmm. Oh, well, we'll get rid of that trap card. No, use Hammer not Crush. Not yet! Mm. Uh, hammer Crush straight away. A card we're seeing a lot at the moment. A really staple card that we've currently got going on here in this tournament. We'll get rid of... No, hmm. no! Was it a bait? We're going to get rid of a Howling Bird from my hand. Okay. To target your set card and destroy it. It was not a bait. I don't want to be Phantom Binded in this deck. Then I'm going to normal summon my psychic monster, Watt Kiss. It may be a little monster, but it has loads of different combos. Well, I'm waiting to see because 300 will not be enough. I'm going to normal summon Magical Ghost. Not a psychic, but he okay. looks cool. And then I'm going to tribute two monsters. No, not already. For my boss monster. How can you have your boss monster directly from the first turn? I'll summon out. Premium. You have an amazing animation. The animation is so pretty. Straight into oh. Prima Gitana. This is what we want to see. We love seeing these animations. Already Jess off to a great start getting out that iconic monster. Prima Gitana. Yes. So I've already got my boss mount on turn one, and I'm drawing five cards next turn. What what does this card do? So Prima Katana, I'm not going to use, be using the effect just yet, but it allows me to pay 500 life points, sorry, 1,000 life points, Okay. and then gain th all my monsters gain 300 attack for each monster you control. Please do it. There's no point in me doing it right now, because I'd lose more life points than I gain. Yes, exactly! <laughs> I'm not quite that. <laughs> going to let you get away with that one. I'll go battle phase. Okay. And I'm going to attack over your 1600 Tribute Summon monster. Mm, okay, already managing to get rid of the most difficult threat on Doc's field. So right now, it's looking like it's in Jess's favour. I got first damage, which is nice. And I've got no cards in hand, so I will pass my turn. Ay, 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 ay. The heart of the cards. I mean, dragons have a lot of big monsters throughout this. Hmm. Let me think about this. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to summon one of my strongest monster ever. We know that zero attack usually means that something bigger is on the way. Draco, Draco the tiny. The tiny. He might be tiny, but will be very <laughs> useful <laughs> in order to summon the mighty gravity dragon. Mm. Oh, so now... Doc has the opportunity to crash into this Gitana card and really put Jess at a disadvantage, losing that iconic card that she's going to need if she wants to secure this. I will be able to reduce your attack by sending one card from my hand. That's really annoying, but you still can't get over it. It's okay. Without losing a monster yourself. It's okay, because now I will play the Twin Edge Dragon. I could use this effect, 
But I think my uh, spell or trap card is more useful on the field than in the graveyard. And now I think it's time to go to battle phase. And okay, maybe I will lose one monster. But I will clean your board. And that's the most interesting. So I've already seen you play Phantom Bind. And if you're not discarding a card, I feel like it's definitely a Phantom Bind set. Maybe. Maybe I have other, other kinds of traps or spell that I cannot use now. Maybe. I will end my turn on this. At least right now, I only have three psychics in my graveyard though. So, so I draw five cards per turn. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Oh, but I think Sensei is calling us. I think we have to end the duel now and uh, I'm having more uh, life points than you, so... I have, unfortunately, I don't think it works like that. Oh, no. You can deal with your detention later. Okay. So I'm going to start off by normal swimming my own 1500 monster. Okay. Silent assailant. So many different plays here. Maybe you want to take the the least strong one. I don't. I don't feel like it to be honest. Okay, no problem. Let's have a look in my graveyard first. I think I'm going to head and normal summon again. Okay. Normal summon my target. Then I'm going to tribute summon. Not both of them again. Over my target. Okay. Just one of them this time. Bring out Berry Basis, one of my okay. favorite cards. I'm not going to use Berry Basis' effect, but it, the ability is really cool. As you pay 500 to reborn a level to a lower Psychic. And you don't want to do it? Not yet. Okay. I've got a bigger monster I can summon. No. So I'm going to summon Magical Ghost. Okay. Still a Psychic, but decent stats. Then, hmm. So how many Psychics have I got in my grave? Because I think you've got a Phantom Bind. I might. So I have one, two, three... I think you should not attack. Four Psychics in my grave, so I can't get over that 1500 attack monster right now if you have Phantom Bind. Exactly. So I'm going to activate Lullabind to set your 1500 monster face down so that I don't have to worry about your Phantom Bind. No. Oh, okay. No, but you're too smart. You have to play around the outs. My first opponent was not that smart. <laughs> I'll go straight to battle face. No. Hmm. You're thinking here. This is definitely a Phantom Bind. I'm not thinking. Mm -hmm. I was reading a card. Okay. Then I'm going to attack with my Silent Assailant. Yes. Into your 1000 defense monster. It's okay. You can destroy it. It's a small loss for a big victory afterwards. I'll take your word for it. And then I'll attack directly for 1300 damage. It's okay. I can handle this, but now I will draw five cards. I mean, because... then so will I the turn after. Yeah, but maybe you will not have a turn after. You don't know. We'll see about that. We equal the life. Now I need to draw what I'm thinking of, and I might not have drawn it. This is not. Don't don't listen to what I'm saying. You need to draw your boss monster here. Wait, hold on a minute. I have a button that says activate skill. Ooh, what does that do? I don't remember. So I'm just going to activate it. Let's go! I'm going to activate my amazing skill, the Hammer Crush deal! So what does this do? So I can set a Hammer Crush from my hand and draw a new card. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Mm. Okay, we're seeing the skill already starting to come out. This is useful. We'll get to see another Hammer Crush that gets set. That's going to be very useful for Doc to really secure his position. Mm. Mm. But was the new card any good? Don't ask bad questions, please. So, you know what? Something really strong in this game. I'm just gonna... <laughs> just set a couple monsters. Just set a couple monsters. Okay. Not, not too much, just, just a few. I see your plan. Just a few, no, but it's just, you know, to... I set um, a bit of a wall. I'm just, I, I don't want to kill you too fast, so... Yeah, it needs to be a chance. Yeah, exactly. Obviously. I'm just, um... I'll draw five cards for turn. Yeah. The problem is, monsters in my hands don't have the best stats. So... Hmm. I think one of your options is to go to end phase directly. You know what? I'm going to pass on that offer. But it's... I mean, it's a decent uh, offer. <laughs> Jess has to think this move through very carefully to make sure she doesn't make any mistakes, because if she does a misplay at any point, it might cost her the game. This is very make or break at this point. She might be able to secure the win if she just plays these five cards very, very carefully. Okay, so now I'm going to tribute someone for, my, for another big monster. I'm going to tribute off my two normal monsters, my assailant and my zombie. 
Oh my ghost even. This is terrible. And summon Folder Blitz. This is terrible. Unfortunately, I can't activate Folder Blitz's special ability. That's, uh, okay. It's good for me. Ooh. Here we go. Folder Blitz, the infinite dream coming out. That's exactly what she wants to see to really be able to put up a strong field. And Doc might be in trouble here because he's playing very defensively, but against such a big attack power monster, it might not be enough. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna summon the biggest monster in my hand, or the biggest monster I can normal summon. Okay. I'm gonna summon out costume. That's and the biggest you have in your hand? Maybe. <laughs> okay. I'll set one card face down. Okay. And I'll go to battle phase. No. Oh. So I don't can't guarantee my costume's gonna kill your monsters. Yes. So I have to make a little prediction here as to what, where you set the big defense guys. Okay. I don't think you set, I think you definitely set it first. I'm gonna go for the last one in your hand that you okay. set. So hmm. am I right? This might decide the game. How many, how many psychics do you have in your graveyard? I think I've got a quite a lot by now. I have one, two, three, four, five. I'm counting. I think you have the perfect number, so I can activate my Phantom Bind! Mm. Oh, there it is. Okay, we're seeing the trap come out immediately. Phantom Bind. Okay. So, my monster will not be destroyed. <laughs> and okay. I'll have at least one monster next turn. That's really disappointing. <laughs> at least now I know that's a normal monster. I'm going to attack over your other two monsters. Okay, no problem. You can destroy them. Lesser Dragon, okay. And what was the last monster? It's my little Draco. Ah, there was no way I could have like predicted anyway. No, I am an unpredictable I did, person. I did predict right with where you set it though. You did. It was, in, it was your first set. You did. And then unfortunately, because I can't summon anymore because my zones are full, I'll end my turn. You tried to read my mind with your psychic ability, but uh, now. I mean, it worked pretty well. It worked pretty well, but we need to put the second gear. First, let's destroy that back row. Okay. I will be sending this bat okay. to destroy your own trap. Mm. Okay, right. So Hammer Crush is definitely going to help get rid of that threatening set card. Was it this? Oh no, it was Which is bait. just a bluff spell, because I wanted to draw more cards next time. <laughs> you bait me. Hmm. You can't blame me for wanting to draw more cards. What should I do? What should I do? Oh, if only Sasaki Sensei was next to me. He could coach me. He could help you out. Yes. I'm going to just put Dragorit in attack. Okay. And that's the only thing I can do. Uh, having less draw time means you're less likely to get to that bot monster. Yes. Which means I'm winning. Why? For now. Oh yeah, for now. <laughs> Please don't kill me next turn. I'll... Ah, uh, no promises. <laughs> Because you haven't tapped such a monster, so I can do damage now. No. Ooh, those draws weren't the best. But... Well, at least... Uh, I mean, you got big monsters on the field. And you have no more spell trap cards. No, I don't. So, uh, there shouldn't be any more phantom binds. At least set. So, I'm going to start off by normal summoning my own zero attack monster. And leave it in attack position. Hmm. Because of your... I know you have a humanist part of you. I know, I'm, normally I'm really kind, but just for you, I'm going to tribute summon it. So tribute off my bird and summon another copy of Berry Bassist. Mm, here we go, another Berry Bassist. Now that's more than enough to get over those monsters. Then I'm going to go straight to my battle phase. Okay. Now I'm going to go Berry Bassist will attack over your defense position, Lizard. Okay. Does that mean I still have a turn? You're definitely still going to have a turn. Let's go. Then Sasaki my... Sensei, wherever you are, send me the luck I need. Let me draw the cards I need. I'll take over your other soldier. And then, was your little extra damage, chip damage worth it? Yes, it was. Now I'm going to attack for even more damage over it's your okay, monster. It's okay, it's okay. My little dragon, help me. It's getting intense. I need to look now. Let's go, I draw my three cards. Oh my God, what is this? This is terrible. <laughs> Can you beat my guitar girls is the question. I think we have to do some move here. Okay. And I think I will use my almighty cards. <laughs> Maybe you will 
kill me next turn, but then I'll go out in flames. Look oh. at this. Look at this beauty. Send three dragons for your hand to graveyard. Yes, and I will clean the board, the whole board. There we go, look at that, clearing all of Jess's field with one single card. Mm. That was a big move from Doc, and something that really has turned the tide of battle, clearing away the biggest threats that Jess had on her field with just that one spell card. Now that was a good move. Mm. Look at this! Where That's... did your monster went? To the damn hell! Wow. Let's go, and now I special a mon- What, I can special summon a monster? I didn't read that part of the effect. That yeah. was really nice. The card's really good. So now I can special summon something from my grave in defense position. Nice zero defense monster. That's, I should have chosen something with a better defense. <laughs> Maybe your, but it's fine. your little one, your tiny dragon. I'll just set a monster and end my turn. But now your hand is empty, so you do draw five cards. You do not have a field. You think that? Yes, you only drew three monsters. Three mm -hmm. cards. It so, will not be enough to kill me this turn. I'll let you think that. Yes, please. Because then I, I have nine cards in my deck. Unfortunately, I don't think I can actually kill you this turn. Let's but go. I can definitely do some damage. Let's go! I have nine cards in my deck. Five of them will be in my hand. That means... But will you have enough monsters to tribute? Well, you know, at least I'll, I'll have my boss monster somewhere in my hand. So, I'm going to start off... Hmm. I'm going to normal summon again my silent assailant. Let's go with setting... And it looks like it, it, it's dancing great dance right now. As they deserve. Yeah, sure. Normal summoning my Watkiss. That's very strong as well. And then immediately tributing off my Watkiss. Okay. For yet another Berry Basis. Not again. Getting the full band back together. I'm not going to use Berry Basis effect. I'm just going to normal summon another costume. So many strong monsters. Because I'd like some damage. Yes, but not too much, please. Mm. I'm asking nicely, you know. We'll see what you think too much is. Okay. I'll go to battle phase. Yes. I'm going to attack my costume over your dragon, because it has the least attack point. That's a very smart move. Then I'm going to go my silent assailant into your set monster. Oh, by only 100. Oh. Poor tiny Draco. Draco, come back. He died so many times this game. Yes. And then I'm going to attack directly with my very basis for another no, 16. No, no. Then I'm my turn. This is very close right now. And unless Doc believes in the heart of the cards, he is not going to be able to out this field. But he might just draw in to that one thing that he needs. Hmm. So now everything can change with the tip of my finger right now. I can draw the five cards that will send you to the graveyard. Oh, mighty, I do what I needed to win this duel. But are you winning this turn is the question. No, but still. Do I have a chance to come back? <laughs> I think so. Let me think about the best move I can make. You already used so many of your strong monsters. Should I do this? No, because then I will lose. I should not do this. I will first summon this thing that looks like the Italian players I played against l before. And next, I will summon the Lesser Dragon. It might be called Lesser Dragon, but he will be very useful. It's gonna become a bigger dragon. Because now, I can summon the Almighty. My dear friend, look at him. The multi-strike drag dra dragon dra Oh, his name is too complicated to say in English. I'm just gonna call him Dragias. Ooh. Here it comes. Multi-strike dragon Dragias. And here we get to see another animation. Look how gorgeous that looks. That is what you want to see in these rush jewels. These amazing animations of these cards. That is very threatening. That level seven monster hitting the field. He is terrifying. He is. It's mine, and I'm still scared of him. I'm gonna use his effect. Okay. To send a card. Oh, no, but then... Then, if I have another turn, I will not have enough cards to draw. I cannot do anything else. I'll just go to battle. So you're not using the effect? Okay. I did use the effect. Oh, you did? I did. I think so. Did I? 
Yes, I did. Okay, you did. So I can attack twice. Okay. I got rid of your strongest monsters. You did? Now, yeah. Jess, you are allowed to kill me because I did the best move I could with my deck. So I'll draw. I cannot do anything better than this. Hmm. So I've got to think here because you have three cards left in deck and you're drawing those three cards next turn. Yes. So you're not going to have that double attack. Hmm. That, that's, yeah, I didn't think about this. But still, I mean... Strategy always wins. Strategy always wins, yes. So I'm going to set a monster face down. Yes. I'm going to change my costume creator to defense position. No. I'm going to, hmm. I have plenty of cards left in deck. So I'm going to set another monster face down. No. And so I cannot go directly to your life points. I'm going to set a card. No. And then I'm going to end my turn. No, not like this. So I'm going to use a different win condition than life points. And no, try and deck she you out. wants to deck me out. Oh my God. This is terrible. And now you can't use your Dragon Ace's effect because you have no cards left in deck to mill. Yes, I know, I know. It's a big problem right now. So you have to kill me this turn, otherwise you lose the jewel. Well, I would like to use my Draconic Pressure to destroy the whole board. But I need to send three dragon type monsters from your hand to the graveyard. And now I just drew my two rock dragons, so I cannot use this card. <laughs> so this is not very fine. But look what I can do. I will. Oh, I'm waiting. <laughs> no, man, something this. Oh, you're looking at two attack card. That's pretty good. Yes, because then we will try our best. I mean, it's a good strategy, Danny. Yes, but the problem is I need a third monster. Ah. I don't have a third monster. So let's just do this effect. So what are you going to discard here? The, the spell card I cannot use. And now, unfortunately, I cannot do anything else. I just drew my three tribute monster in the last hand. <laughs> so I will go to battle. And now I will attack first this thing. Oh, costume's gonna die, but actually yeah, I'm no, lying. Let her die, let her costume die. Costume isn't gonna die. No, no, I, I wanted my own to Phantom attack Phantom twice. Phantom. So your dragon has zero attack. No. Oh. oh! <laughs> Phantom Bind comes out. That is a bad sign for Doc. It looks like it might all come down to this. Sure, Doc can clear some of Jess's monsters, but the life point difference is getting bigger and bigger, and he has no cards left in the deck. Do attack again? You know what? I need to die in style, and I don't want to be decked out, so my monster is going to attack again and sacrifice itself. <laughs> no! And that, that is it. Oh no, he attacked into the defense position monster and unfortunately lost purely based on that. That was very good from Jess, putting up an amazing defense at the end. But commiserations there to Doc for not quite being able to take that. Well, you got beaten by the pink-haired girls. How do you feel? I mean, your deck is too strong. You, you are too strong. I cannot do anything. I need to study more with Sasaki Sensei. Yeah, well, better luck next time. Yes. Another great duel there. Jess managed to put up such a solid defense that unfortunately Doc7 simply could not get past, even with his signature card, Multi-Strike Dragon Dragius. Now, if you guys want to see even more of this, be sure to check out the following episodes that are coming soon, but also head to the link in the description and try Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Link's Rush Duel today. We'll see you guys in the next episode. We get to see Jess versus Manga Car. So, I think you have no chance in this turn. I'm gonna destroy all your monsters. Yeah, unfortunately for you, this is my Phantom oh. Bind. Oh. No, there it is! We knew that the trap was the last thing that could save it. I can summon the legendary. And if it does, it's all over.